How to improve your flow when you're going through roundabouts? You've got to anticipate from the distance. You shouldn't get too close to the roundabout to make decision whether you're going through or not. It requires at least 10 to 15 meters to understand if it's likely to go through or stop and wait. What do I mean by anticipating? You've got to check before you get to the roundabout before it's too late that way you're going to know if there's somebody approaching the roundabout that you might need to give way to early anticipation and approach is necessary see here we can see from the distance there's absolutely nobody and we can proceed there's no point slowing down more than necessary to take the roundabout it's pretty much the same in this situation. You can see from the distance, there's, there's absolutely nobody approaching the roundabout from the right hand side. If there's nobody from the opposite direction potentially turning right, then you just proceed slowly through the roundabout depending on the sharpness of the angle. Residential roundabouts shouldn't be higher than 20 k's. In this instance, we can tell there's a car coming from the right hand side, so we will slow down significantly to let it through. If there's no one else coming through, we can then proceed safely. The white van from the opposite direction wasn't too close to the roundabout, so we could go without waiting for it. Here's another situation where there's clearly nobody approaching roundabout from either right hand side or opposite direction, so there's no need to slow down significantly. Here we have a few cars, there's a couple of cars on the right hand side and there's one from the opposite direction. The cars on the right hand side must wait for the black car in case he's going straight which he's not but he's not indicating. And if that black vehicle went straight through it would shield our path and we would potentially proceed before the cars from the right hand side get their turn. And that way you wouldn't lose points for your flow in the driving test which a lot of candidates do if they hesitate. So once again, early anticipation will change the outcome because you will know if you're proceeding or slowing down to stop based on what you see prior to getting to the roundabout. There's no point slowing down more than necessary. If your view is obstructed by anything, it might be the fence or house or anything, you've got to be more cautious before you proceed. Treat every situation individually because you will never encounter an identical situation. If you are not 100% sure, do not proceed. I hope that this video was useful. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.